Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? It's HOTAK! Hey, we're back with another, um, weekly update on the, uh, on the clan. You know what's been going on in the clan this past week, and, um, all the fun stuff that goes along with it. Alright, so let's get to it. So basically, we've had some really good progress on, um, the Citadel and stuff. Not quite, um... Not quite enough, but I'm, I'm surprised at how far we got, actually, so let me show you. Yeah, let me show you real quick. Well, we'll go and look at stuff, too, in a minute. Let me show you. So, basically, we've been working on trying to get Tier 3, right? So, things are a little bit confusing sometimes because guides aren't always from the same year, so I'm looking for, like, the current guides, which isn't that much of a problem, but then making sure where I'm double-checking on other websites see if any info is different and stuff also so that's a little bit confusing at times but what we got it's tier 2 still which is okay um and let me show you so if we go over here so the 18,200 would and 15,600 is for uh the tier 3 citadel so we are really close to that let me show you guys so if you go over here so that's for that but if you look down I don't know if you see it. So it says total, right? Then upkeep, then upgrades. And then upgrades part paid. And then surplus, and then goal. So see how we don't have any negatives? How we're not missing anything? That means we have enough of what we need. If you look at the numbers, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, we're good on that end, right? We're good on that end. So don't worry about that. Now, and then we go to stone. And for upgrades, 1,000, if you see that down there, 1,549. What do we have right now? 4,326. What's the upkeep? Zero. It's basically the upkeep plus the upgrades is like what you need because you, it automatically goes to the upkeep first. Now, if you think about it, if it just went automatically to all the upgrades, and then you didn't have enough for what you currently have, then how would you be able to build something better when you can't even take care of what you already got? I don't know if that makes complete sense to you. That's the way I try to remember. Um, and then surplus, we have 2,779. So we're good. So we are all set to go for Tier 3 this Sunday because RuneScape doesn't update stuff in the Citadel till your next tick. Um... So that's where we're at right now. So we will have tier 3. Now on top of that, I've been looking at more information because people just don't have the information on one spot for everything. And since requirements have changed um, for stuff, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. But let me try to clear up a little bit of stuff. So can we have in tier 3, right? So I've been looking into, okay, so get tier 3. That means we can have the kill in the plot. So I'm looking at, okay, what does it cost? to buy the kiln plot. I don't see that anywhere. From what I'm reading, it's sounding more and more like that you get it with the tier. Which is what I originally thought for stone. But that's not, that was not the case. So I am asking around. I'm, tr I'm trying to clear up the more details. I believe I know what it actually is, but not quite there yet. And on top of that, if you actually look more and more into the stuff, and then you even look at the smithing plot, because tier 3 you can have smithing and the kiln, but you have to have the kiln first. So from the sounds of it, it looks like you do get, you know, smithing and kiln at tier 3, but you cannot use the smith plot till you get a tier 3 mine. Why? Tier 3 mine is when you get ore. Not precious ore. Precious ore is later on down the road. But let's say you got the smith um, plot. You don't have any ore to use it. So you just be... You know, I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't help with anything. You couldn't, even, and ga and you couldn't even gather from it. So, that could make sense. If those things come along together. Um, but you definitely need a tier 3... Uh, Citadel, and you need a tier 3 mine. And then obviously the wood thing was already upgraded. That was the requirement to even purchase a tier 3. So we're all good on that department. 
Um, so th- things are moving along. But don't forget, only the thing pops up at the end of the week. So, yeah, we'll upgrade the mine. But adds on another week to stuff just because that's how RuneScape wants it. You know, sorry. If I could do five upgrades in one week, then I would totally do it. But... Things are just kind of... RuneScape just wants to slow it down for you, I guess. So that stinks a little bit. So look, let's run over here. Remind you guys some stuff. To not forget. So obviously the welcome area. I'm the gold key this week. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen it... So the tier 1 tree... Was just like nothing really here. Maybe a couple rocks. Now we have a tiny rock path. And we've had this for a week now. The tier 2 tree... You can examine it. It should tell me, I think. Tier 2 timber tree. The mine is on the other area. There's the avatar habitat. So don't forget, if you've capped, or if you are going to cap in the citadel and you want the avatar, just let someone know who's a high enough rank. Hopefully you know what the ranking system is right now. Basically, a um, an admin is what the rank runescape requires for you to be able to take out the thing. So you need to be ranked up to admin and have the job of the Avatar Warden put on you temporarily to use it. There's the Avatar. You interact with him. You summon the Avatar. And you choose the buff. Um, I'll take it out right now, actually. Let's do it. Summon the Avatar. Now, another thing which I want to show people which you might not know about um, you might have had to worry about it, which you shouldn't have to, but just in case if you want to check. So the avatar gathers resources just like we do. So essentially the avatar and avatars, once you get more than one, is basically extra caps for your citadel on whatever you want to tell them. You can tell them to do a little bit of this, and then just tell them to stop and do a little bit of that. So tell them to gather resources, which I already had them do yesterday, is the wood. Now if you're curious, one way that I do it, is if you go to follower details so see right there 1000 out of 1000 and when he was doing wood there where it says NA it would say wood if you tell him to do stone wood you do stone wood if you told him to do whatever we eventually get you'll do that that's another way to check also you'll know he's gathering when you see like little sparkles coming down that's what that means if you've ever seen that um yeah I'll just keep him, keep him following me around for now alright let's go to the stone plant so I'm, 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 I'm trying to clear some things up. And even I'm learning stuff too while we're going because things are way different from when I started in, in the Citadel for stuff. Right now it just looks like a giant pile of poop kind of from the side here. All we have is stone. So tier 2, a tiny little path will be in the middle if you guys have ever been to Clan. Or if you remember it from, from before I guess. Um, you get a little path there. Nothing new at that point really other than the path. Tier 3, on on this side, will have little batches of ore for you to gather. And then, after that, for a Tier 4 mine... Now, I don't know if you have to have a higher Tier Citadel for a Tier 4 mine or not. Um, I could easily read it. But either way, the Precious Ore, which is like a golden color, will be on this side. And there'll be a little path going up the side. Um, so that's how that will look for us. Why is my guy running around in weird directions? Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, this thing needs to be tier 3. I have it all set to go for tier 2. And then tier 3 after that. So RuneScape just likes jerking us around and dragging stuff out. So I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. Um, let me show you right here. To so see, oh, that's what we got right now. So if you go on this, that's how much it costs for tier 2. Only 510 wood and 410 stone. And then after that, for the next one, it's not that much more even. even I'll read off those numbers. I'll let you guys know how much we need. The best best of my ability um, for that coming up. And as I showed you, we already got this paid for right here. That's all good to go. You know, so. We're working progress. So anyway, beside that, anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm just going to run over to maybe over here. Um, also, don't forget, as I say during the cap event, don't forget to collect your weekly field tier reward, which I waited. I should be able to do it right now. 
choose a skill as long as you capped the week before. So I'll just choose construction. That's how much XP I'll get. You do that. Bam. Once a week, free XP from whatever skill you want. You talk to this guy once you've done enough capping, which is usually about a half cap or a little more. There'll be a message that comes up in your chat. If you have it filtered, you won't see it, so you gotta unfilter it. Or just wait till you're done capping. And you talk to him, claim XP, and he'll probably tell me, oh, you already did it. You already did it. Now, this XP is only for plots that uh, the Citadel currently has. So, right now, it would be woodcutting or mining. You choose one of those. It's a lot more than just that 9,000. Um, it's probably like around 20 something thousand right now, maybe. I'm not certain if it scales or not. Also, don't forget you can deposit orts here for your uh, avatar. Move the tick, which we're not doing. You guys won't be able to do that anyway. Some little general info right there. Aside from that, we have some really uh, cool stuff. Um, I did another quest. Unfortunately, I guess no one else was able to make it, which is okay. I'm going to keep on doing quests. You know, easy quests for now um, that people need. Mostly, I'm centering them around the arty tasks. That's what I need. But if you have a, a suggestion, let me know, and we can we can do that. No problem on Team Speak. Aside from that, I know uh, people were going on raids trips. So congrats on those guys. I know they got some good stuff, and they got some kills, and they didn't all die, which is always fun. Um, we had a skilling competition going on this past week, which ends today on Monday. Um which was a fletching competition, a skilling one. So, if you don't know what that was, or you had no idea, we were even working on it. Basically, um, we pick a skill, um, and then the person that's in charge of it, um, or, or should I say that, that person in charge makes the final decision on what skill is for the event. And it goes on for a week, usually from like, maybe from like, Monday to Monday for tick time about. Um, if not then, then the specific, specific time will be listed um, on Slack. That's the way to find out. There are mentions in the clan chat every once in a while. Um, so this past week was flushing. Do I know who won? No, I don't know. I, I haven't seen that announcement yet. That'll be coming up shortly, don't worry. And then the winner gets uh, cash prize for most XP for for this one was flushing. Second prize, I believe, gets something. Maybe a third. I'm not certain if we're doing it on this one. And then also, there's usually a prize for like most levels gained. So, you know, if you're a lower level, that's one way that you can win because if a guy is 99 and you have 50 fletching, you're probably not going to beat him out in XP. So, it kind of gives you a shot at something, too. Um, and we're going to keep on doing those, rolling them out. So, stay tuned for a new skill one coming up and other events also that will be listed on the calendar which is on Slack, please check it out. And um, I'm trying to think for you guys of anything else that I could mention that's, that was good. Um, um, I'm trying to see, let me see some for a minute, one second guys. I, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything for you. That you know, it's kind of important. Let me see. There is... That's all the Citadel stuff. Yeah, I mean, basically, um... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so, one of the other things I do want to mention, um, not a whole lot of details on it, but, um... You know how we have different leads for the different, uh, groups and stuff in the clan, you know, um... For, like, combat stuff and membership and, like, Citadel stuff. Well, um, you know, unfortunately for right now, and it's posted on Slack, um, the leader of the Citadel, uh, Miss Reagan right now, you know, for, for temporarily at least, um, you know, she needs to step down for now, um, she stated because, you know, they're busy with personal stuff and things like that. So we will be looking for, for a future, uh, person for the Citadel, um, so working on that. For the time being, you know, I'll keep on keeping updated on Citadel stuff, and I'm sure any of the other council members, you can ask them about Citadel stuff. Um, but that's one of the, I guess, the big news, if you want to hear about that. Um, and that's all I really got for you guys for now, really, for clan-related stuff that I can remember. 
Um, our client number has gone up more and more and more. Don't quote me on it. We're probably past it at this point. But last time I checked a couple days ago, I believe we were at um 84 members, which is amazing. We're not even at like like two months yet. And having that many people is really fun. So thank you up till dawn, and thank you for being a part of it. And that's all I got for this uh um this time for stuff that I can think of. Anything else that I have forgotten, I'll make sure to post it up for you guys to check out. And, you know, check out Slack every once in a while for current updates on things that are going on. Um, you know, that would be a good idea to know about. So until next time, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.